Welcome to Replay Converter 3.0. I am going to show you how super easy it is to convert a flash video file that I downloaded from YouTube into an iPod video format. So I've just opened up the program. Here's the new interface. And really, this program 3.0 is such a change from the previous versions. It really is like a brand new program. It can convert into many more different formats, both audio and video. And the cool new thing, too, is that it can also automatically burn to CD or DVD really easily. But right now, I'm just going to show you how to get a flash video file from YouTube converted to uh, your iPod. So open the program, click on Add Files, and you go and find, say this is my desktop, go and find the file you want to convert. I had actually created a little folder called Replay Converter Files, and in it, I put four YouTube videos. I'm just going to grab one of them. Um, I could do all four at the same time, but for the purposes of this demo, I just want to do one. It'll be faster. Um, so uh, right now it's indicating that the status is pending. It's waiting for me to um, do something. So I'm going to convert to the same folder. If I wanted to convert to a new folder, I just click on there and then find the folder I want to convert, but I'm going to keep the same folder. I am converting a video file, not an audio file, and in this demonstration I'm not burning a DVD. And then um, click the target formats, and the program has, um, in default mode, it's selected, or we've put in um, sort of the most popular formats, AVI, iPod Video, 3GP, which is for your cell phone, MOV, which is QuickTime, um, and Windows Media Video. Those are the, They're set in there as default, and they're set in there at a nice high quality. If you wanted to pick different formats, you can just by clicking on Add More Formats. And if you don't think that the quality that we've um, uh, selected for you is high enough, you pick the format you want and you just right click on it, Edit Target Formats, Edit Target Format Properties, and it brings up this window which allows you to choose um, a you know, much higher bitrate or to customize your bitrate, and you can put it as high as 2000 if you wanted. Um, but for now, I'm just going to keep it simple. Just do the default high quality s setting that we've got here. I just click Go. And then um, we now have a progress bar included in the program, which um, is a new lovely feature. It lets you see how quickly um, uh, and how successfully the conversion is taking place. So it's zipping right along. So as soon as it's done, all I'll need to do is show you the converted file, which will be fabulous. Almost finished. And ta-da! So it's indicated that it's done. The little status now, instead of saying pending, says done. And another new feature, if I right-click on that file and I go to Open Current Target Folder, it'll take me to the folder that um, I've selected to put my converted video in, and here it is. And I just double click on it and it brings up. Sorry, let me move this over so you can see it. And it brings up my VLC player, which happens to be my default player for um, this format. And there is the video. So um, hopefully that was pretty darn easy and super fun for you. So um, check it out. It's, uh, it's really worth exploring um, the new version of Replay Converter. It's Replay Converter 3.0. Thank you so much. Have fun.